welcome to everything with Dovan. In the last two Sundays, when the apostles came out to preach and they talked about the spirit of lockdown i could relate to it totally to see that some people reduced it to just what tb joshua could get is very funny because this is the man that even with the lockdown he's still giving out food to people in need all over the world what millions and millions and millions of dollars and you think that is just opening the church that is concerned of this man this man knew that a lot of people were going through torture while they were being locked down regardless of who you are we all had one thing troubling us just because of the lockdown this lockdown like apostle angela said is a spirit and is a demonic spirit but some people do not agree if you check our videos check our video lockdown wahala you will see what people are going through that is just tip of the iceberg there are some certain things that youtube will not have a lot of people were going through so many spiritual attack because of the lockdown and you know immediately she started praying i was like oh god god keeps confirming to me every now and then that there is a spirit of god in this church she just knelt exactly what a lot of my friends family and younger ones were calling me to say that it was really troubling them it was actually a spirit listen to her message and then come down and see some of the instances that people are going through right now it's actually a spirit and to see that a lot of people sit in the comfort of their offices and most of the people that criticize this thing are journalists if you don't know journalists are not on lockdown they are not on lockdown except for a few of us that want to be safe or some of us that are in marketing they are not on lockdown they are going out on a daily basis and doing their job so they don't really know what other people are going through if you want to confirm or you have situation that made you confirm that this message this prayer actually came from a revelation actually came from god and not because tb joshua wants to get his church reopened this was a man that was first to obey the lockdown this is a man that if you come to church on a normal day you discover that he asked some people to go home this is a man that is not about offering and tithe so why do you think locking down the church will affect him to not affect him the man has so structured his church that if you like lock down the church forever it will still not affect him directly but the pain that the people he sees the pain that people he's shepherding are going through was just a consign for me of these prayers then i'll watch the prayers and watch the entire service and then do let me know what you think in the comment section and if this prayer or this spirit of lockdown as revealed by god to this apostles send any message to you or you can relate to read let me know how you related to read or this message related to you in the comment section like me i was almost going mad now the lockdown is even relaxed but it's not enough because people don't want to meet with people anymore the only thing that was giving me peace is just to lie down at jesus's feet and pray you know and worship and cry that gives me a lot of peace and at times i sleep do you see how much we are eating do you see how much we have become so fat do you see all these things they are spirits it's not a good thing when god said we should work there's a reason for that this was just to turn us psychologically and mentally and make us weak i don't know how to describe it but it has tortured me for me i confirm that this there's actually a spirit behind this thing and for them to pray against the spirit it's a good thing people are already calling out for the lockdown to be uplifted because they know that it's demonic they know that it's already attacking people and it's killing more people some of you because you have food in your house you're eating and you think 80% ah, of Nigerians survive on what they sell on a daily basis even some of us that seems okay like this we cannot survive for two months without having to make more money that is how it is please when someone says something whether you like them or not but they say something that is real just acknowledge that what they say is real not even up to 1% of people are dying from coronavirus what is happening with hunger did you hear that over how many people died in Borno state and it was because of hunger Borno and Yobe test has carried out it was not coronavirus it was hunger so what are you saying coronavirus has not even killed as many people as that hunger killed people in Borno and Yobe just few weeks back when the lockdown was took place in their area please you people should understand it's not everybody that is self-saving it's not everybody that comes out to say something that is about them if you look at some people you know that you can lock down for two three years it won't shake them if they are 
are talking, they are talking because they have people under them that they truly, genuinely care about. And in this case, T.B. Joshua uh, cared and his ministry cared about the entire world. As you can see in their charity, uh, you agree with the apostles and the synagogue church of all nations, Prophet T.B. Joshua, that the lockdown was actually a spirit. Immediately, I saw that prayer point. I knew that lockdown was coming to an end, at least in Nigeria for us. Watch the videos. Deadlier COVID-19 is the one many people are not talking about though we may have heard about it or seen it. This COVID-19 is not mentioned. Suicide, murder, divorce, a change in temperament. Yet it is a result of COVID-19. You see, many people today would say, ah, I can't eat what I want to eat. Many would say, I can't go where I want to go. I've lost my job. They're disturbing me with all of my debt. This is as a result of COVID-19. The way we talk about COVID-19, COVID-19 here, COVID-19 there, COVID-19 everywhere, the way we talk about it promotes it. We seem to give so much recognition to it. Viewers, that you don't talk about something does not mean that thing does not exist. As Prophet TB Joshua says, it is actually a strategy to silence those things you don't want, e.g. coronavirus. Right now, that coronavirus, we silence your noise. Begin to choose faith over fear. I said, begin to choose faith over doubt and begin to check yourself anywhere you are. Prophetically, begin to check yourself because I see Jesus healing you right now. His word says, let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say, I am blessed. And let the sick say, I am healed. I mean, you sick, you are healed in Jesus' name. You poor, you are blessed in Jesus' name. You yoked, you are delivered in the name of Jesus. Viewers, this is the situation many are in right now. A lot of people have developed depression, anxiety, anger, irritation, addiction to smoking, drinking, excessive eating. Many people are always on their phones right now watching ungodly acts, things that were not there before COVID-19. Yet all of our attention is on the COVID-19 that is known. The one that's causing cough, fever, headache. And let me know what you think in the comment section. Let's rub minds. It's always good to rub mind. Say what is in your mind and I say what is in my mind. And then we'll hold each other hands and support each other in faith. And remember, never for any moment doubt God's ability to heal you, bless you, deliver you and save you. Whatever situation you may be facing, remember God has given each and every one of us plenty evidence to believe in. As you continue to recall God's track record in your life, remember that will grow confidence that no matter the situation you may be in, your situation is not like others, but for the glory of God. And don't forget, Focusing on Christ Jesus put everything else in perspective. Yes. Remain blessed in Jesus' name. That is what Christendom is all about. It's about encouraging one another to stay fast in trying situations and what have you not. Looking up and waiting for our Lord's return. I love you. I will see you again when I see you. Haven't said that? This is where I go. Bye bye. After the rain, joy comes in the morning.